The dramatic headline continuity, Vice President Nixon meeting with President Eisenhower and Under Secretary of State Dillon. A briefing for Mr. Nixon before his Moscow mission. Then the scene shifts to Friendship Airport, Maryland, where Admiral Rickover, atomic sub-expert, joins the Nixon party. Also USIA Chief George V. Allen. Russia's Ambassador Menshikov is all smiles, sharply in contrast to the Khrushchev and Pravda attitudes. Three Russian airmen board the Nixon jet to assist in the Moscow landing, a reciprocal gesture. Opening the American National Exhibition during an 11-day tour, Mr. Nixon is expected to have hard-hitting talks with Soviet Premier Khrushchev. He says... Uh, we're looking forward to our visit there with Mr. Khrushchev, uh, with other leaders of the Soviet Union, and also we welcome the opportunity to talk to people in all walks of life. I think perhaps the major point that we will want to get across is the fact that the American people are united, that we're strong, and that we stand behind the president in his foreign policy leadership for a peace with justice for all the world. Bye. And so, Moscow bound, he the highest ranking U.S. official to visit the Soviet Union since FDR at Yalta in 1945. From New York, another big jet is flying newsmen to Russia to cover the Nixon tour. Among the top journalists is John Daly, news commentator, and the veteran Hearst newspaper correspondent and columnist Bob Considine. Aviation history is in the making as the jet will reach Moscow in a record eight hours, 53 minutes. And here's the site of the fair. U.S. Ambassador Llewellyn Thompson and Exhibit General Manager Harold C. McClellan make a preview inspection during the last minute scramble to get the Moscow show ready. Here, where the aim is to project a realistic, incredible image of America to the Soviets through exhibits, an electronic brain is prepared to answer thousands of questions about us in Russian. American living standards are shown, although the Soviet press has attacked a model home as beyond the reach of the typical U.S. workman. But the show will go on, and news of the day will bring it all to this theater screen.